coach, if you start just with your thoughts on the night. Yeah, let me start by greeting members of the media. Good afternoon to uh, everybody. I thought it was a good game of football. I think two very good sides. Uh, you can you can see why uh, Cape Town City we have won six games in a row just before the Stelis uh, blip, you know. But um, good team with uh, with a good coach and with some good players, and uh, it was a very competitive game. Uh, made even more competitive by the fact that they had quite a few advantages. Uh, their last game being the 8th of December and we, we just came back from from Egypt um, a few days ago. So yeah, it is what it is. It's uh, the schedule that we, we have to face. And uh, I'm very proud of this group of players because we, we made a game of it. I always say to them that the result in football can belong to anybody. Uh, what we have to take ownership of is the process and the process of trying to win every single match. And then there are certain indicators that you have to look at in terms of the process. And those indicators for me are, I think, when you look, I say how many real clear-cut chances for City, I don't remember. Uh, and then the other, the other indicator is, did we have some chances? I think so. That Lucas situation, I think in the first half should be a goal. And he's a little bit unlucky with that chance. Uh, good pressure and uh, good pressing trap. In the second half, I think Modiba can pass to Maseko and he decides to take a shot and if Modiba makes a better decision. And so when I look at the chances for the opposition and I look at our chances, I say, OK, I'm happy with the, the, the indicators. Uh, and even though maybe we made a couple of mistakes today, which is a little bit unlike us, but for sure, you know, when, uh, when you play so many games and, and fatigue starts to take its toll, you want to have those type of situations. But happy with uh, the commitment, happy with the, the, the intensity, happy with the respect that uh, uh, this incredible group of players keeps showing for the, for the badge and for the club. And, and uh, yeah, uh, we take a point, you can't win them all. And sometimes, you know, when you win 11 in a row, everyone thinks you're entitled to win every single game. But you, in football, you can't win them all. And so we take the point away from home and, and we move on. Thank you, Coach. We've got only a few questions uh, at all. Coach, uh, just the tactical battle out there, a nice game of chess. Do you, do you enjoy that as a coach? Uh, and uh, breaking their, their pressing, uh, that was a very good pressing. Yeah, but from both sides. Yeah, yeah they, they pressed well. We, we pressed well at times. They built up well. Uh, we built up well also at times. Uh, but yeah, I enjoy those. It, it, it's, it's just that it comes at the wrong time of the year, you know, where there's quite a lot on my mind and there's a lot of mental fatigue. But of course, you've got to stay sharp and you've got to try and, and help the team and also participate in the game. Uh, but a good, a good team and a very difficult team to play against. And, uh, but that's why I'm very proud of the group. We, we tried our best to, to win the game for sure. Sure, yeah, no. With this kind of regards today, and knowing that important games in hand, does that make you beautiful? Knowing that, like, like you just said now, these kind of games belong to anyone? No, no, no. Not these type of games. All the games of football, the result belongs to anybody. No, it's not just these games. And I'm not worried, I'm not worried. We, we are number one in the Champions League group. <laughs> And everyone's talking and making hoo-ha. But we are number one in the Champions League group. We are number one in the league, uh, even with the difficult schedule that we have. So we were in the final of the MTN 8. We won the AFL. So really, 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 when I look at what we've done uh, for the first round of the season, I mean, you've got you to gotta appreciate what this group of players has done. You know, incredible effort every single match. They, they give the best that they can. And as I say to you, you are, you are not entitled to win. 
you are not entitled to win. So the, the 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 result in football belongs to anyone. You 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 you, you wanna you wanna make reference. Go to Chelsea. Not so long ago, they were winning Champions League. They, they've probably spent the most over the last two seasons. And, and, and where are the results? Go to Man United. We were dominating league titles for many years. Maybe 20 years they were winning. Where are they now? Out of Champions League group stages. Out. Number last in the Champions League. Out. That's football. The results belong to anybody. Man City, in the last five games, how many wins? This is football, you know, and now do you want to tell me Man City all of a sudden become a, a team that's not good enough when out of five games, maybe they've won one. It's it's very, very difficult. They've won one, maybe two, actually, out of the last five. Luton and uh, and, and maybe now with the final and, and the semi-final of, of the Club World Cup. In the English Premier League, how many games? It's it's very difficult. Football is very difficult. Yeah, the, 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 anyway... It's the game teaches you every single day, and I watch a lot of football. I read a lot of about football. I I'm a football maniac, so I know what this game does, and and it still keep, continues to teach me more. That's why I, I watch so much, you know. So it is what it is. Who would have guessed that um, Leverkusen would be unbeaten in 25 games in the Bundesliga? Who would have put money on that at the beginning of the season? Nobody. Everyone expects Bayern Munich to be number one. They are not. That's football. So we, you have to go with it and you have to you have to keep trying and you have to keep trying and you have to keep trying and focus on the process. The most important thing is the process. The process says, what's the idea? How do you want to play? Is that consistent in every single game? And I, and I think when you watch Sundowns, you can see some form of consistency in the ideas that we want to try to implement on the pitch. And then you look for the indicators. Are you creating enough chances? Are you giving chances to the opposition? Are you making less mistakes than, than the opposition? These, those are the type of things that I, I, as a football coach, look for. Not the result, because the result can belong to anybody. Someone said to me, we won seven out of, I don't know, anyway. Let's leave that. Okay, we'll take Lully and then Mark. Coach, um, it's beautiful to watch it. You just say focus. Uh, we, I was watching how the Sunders were playing Diamond and the rest Diamond, five players. And how does it how does it take for you to sit down with players to understand when you trigger the, the systems? I was watching Kulise. Um, I mean, I saw you talking to Kulise and then you started making those moves. The one minute it's Mule. <sighs> A lot of information must go to the players. Yeah, yeah, and that's why I say big compliments to them. The, the game of football belongs to the football players. Big compliments to this group of Sundowns players. Amazing, amazing footballers and even better human beings. So, not, not me, it's the players. I just come with crazy things and then they look at me, they say crazy, but we do. So that's, that's it. And, and so a lot of praise to the, to the players. Uh, coach, when you show a new Argentinian arriving, and which foreigner are you going to drop for the second conference? Argentinian? Oh, you seem to know more than me, <laughs> Mr. Gleason. I think you know, sir. I know absolutely nothing as I sit here, sir. <laughs> Can I ask you, what are your plans for the FCOM break? Are you any camps, any trips? What are you planning? Yeah, we, we, we will take a bit of a break. We need a... <laughs> We, we are in desperate need of a holiday. Uh, it's a pity I'll probably have 10 players at FCON in Ivory Coast. So those ones will then have probably have a rest after uh, FCON. But most of the squad, I've got some players already, especially the internationals, they've, their flights are booked. And they'll take a couple of weeks off and then we'll come back. We'll probably have a short camp that will be in South Africa without too much traveling and uh, prepare for what will be some grueling games when we start because we've got a very, very difficult program that includes a game with Golden Arrows and Orlando Pirates as soon as we open. So it's, it's, it's quite a tough program. But yeah, that's, that's the, I think, the most I can give you in terms of the information with regards to that.
Okay, we're close with Kinsani. Yeah. Given last season, like the one or two games that you lost, there was the, the mistakes you made. And sure. You, you got punished. And today I looked at uh, some of our uh, colleagues, small chances that the team. No, for team, sure. They didn't punish. And normally you punish uh, the team that doesn't do that. And you just spoke of a bleep now. Um, does this bleep, uh, the draw after like so many wins in the league, uh, almost give the players a bit of a relief of not even the anxiety to keep winning, keep winning? No, it's, it's, we want to win, and we play to win, and we want to win every single game. That's that's the process. This game is just a pause in that process. We just pause a little bit, and then we, we will continue. We'll, 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 we'll be back to our best. It's, it's, it's not easy to do what this group of players is doing, to travel the way we are traveling, to play the number of games, the, the number of injuries. People say it's excuses, but it's not excuses, it's facts, you know? And, I would like to see how many teams would get the results that we've gotten with the circumstances that we've had, we've had to overcome. How many teams? Very, very few would be able to do that. And so that's why I say that group of players deserves a lot more credit than they get. Incredible group of players. And I can't stop singing their praises. Okay. Well, can I ask you a challenge question? Sure. If you don't get a chance to talk to you then. This year, the other big protagonists like Akli and particularly Mida, those are the strongest they were. Do you, when you when you watch the other games, do you do you think to yourself, this is my this is this twenty four edition is the one that you can actually really take now? I mean, the, the path is a bit clearer than in previous years. No, because we've we've already lost to Mazembe. Yeah, but you think was a, you were lucky. Everybody. Yeah, but we lost, and that's what it means. That's football. At the end, you lost. So. It, it, it's it's not the name of the of the of the team. It's it's the performances on the day. It's the it's there's so many things that ride on the result. As I said, the result can belong to anybody. What it does say to you is do not forget how many times football has taught you the story. Of it's not really really how you start, but how you really end. You go to last season. At this point in time in the Champions League, Al Ahly were written off and they were out. They qualified with the last game to go. Ronwin had to make a save. We were against Al Hilal, and they were. And then what happened to Al Ahly? They went on to win the Champions League in 2010. In front of our eyes, the Spanish national team lost their first group stage game. And what happened? They went on to win the World Cup. Argentina, first game in the World Cup, lost. Went on to win the World Cup. So football. Football has got. I, I've seen so many things in football. For me to to say, this is what it is. One plus one is two. This game is so so interesting, and that's why everybody everybody loves this game because it comes up with different things and it it can surprise you and it can. I mean, Luton will play Manchester City, and you know what happens? The supporters of Luton will will believe that they can, they've got a chance to win because even. The smallest of teams and the team that doesn't have as much resources goes into a match believing that they've got a chance to win. And that's why we love this beautiful game. Okay, thank you. Christmas message? Merry Christmas and a prosperous <laughs> new year. Thank you very much, thank everybody. You.